Alright, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is include a library that is going to allow us to capture our screen. So we will be using this later to actually capture screenshots. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a hotkey. Uh, right now I'm doing plus S, which is shift S, um, and creating a custom function called my exit. Since we are going to be running this over and over in a while loop, uh, if you need to stop the script so you can do stuff on your computer, you just hit Shift S and it will stop the script. Um, to start with, I am going to be using sleeps of 20 seconds. I highly suggest that you later on go through and actually tune this to how many, like how much time it actually takes for you to get through the different portions. So now we're going to do our first mouse click. So we need to actually open up the Reroller app. So you use the Finder tool and you hover over in the area and if you notice in the position you're going to see the coordinates of where you let go of that tool. So now we're going to simulate a mouse click. So we're going to do a left button and then we are going to use the coordinates that were found with the Finder tool. In this case 977 and 291 and the one means click once. If you wanted to click more times you could set that to whatever you want but it doesn't really make sense to do this in here. Again, between every single action that we take, we're going to need to take a sleep so that there is time between it. Um, you can adjust this later. It's easier if you write the script and then go through the different clicks and just count to yourself how long you think it's going to take. So now we're going to open up the app and we're going to move on. So essentially we just need to keep doing all the different clicks. Um, I'm going to speed this up in a bit. So we're going to click on Hercule, then we're going to click on the start screen, click the skip button because you know we just move on, download complete, another skip, you can just copy the one above, you gotta close out of this, you gotta click OK, and close out of this again, and so on and so forth, and just keep doing every single click that you need until we get to the gift section. So once we're in the gift section, we're actually going to create a for loop. So as you know, you can only collect 10 gifts at a time. So instead of writing this twice or having to tweak it later on, we can just do this in a single loop. So we're going to start a for loop and we're going to start it at 1 and we're going to go to 2 because currently we have 18 gifts. If we had 20 something gifts, you would want it to go to 3 so that you do this 3 times. Um, this will make it easier in the future if you need to change this because um, the number of gifts that we have um, has, has changed between rolls. So you create a for loop, next uh, is how you close out of a for loop in this scripting language. Um, and then we just, again, we need to do uh, the clicks. So you use the finder tool, and we're going to do accept all. Um, I, I get tired of writing it over and over, so I just copy the one above, and then I just change um, my little note to myself to let me know what that click is, and then of course the coordinates of where the mouse was. So we're just, I think we're going to need three three clicks here. So you're going to accept all, then we need to do OK. So same thing, just copy it down and change it to use the, the coordinates that uh, the new location is at. And then after this we get another one that pops up that's l that says, you know, collected 10 gifts and then you click OK again. So we're going to just work our way through that probably should have sped this part up, but that's okay. Alright, so this will handle this. So if we run this in if we were to actually run this, it would do this two times. I'm just simulating the clicks of, of what it would look like. Um, at this point, we're going to actually move on to the summons. So again, use the Finder tool. We're going to click on Summon. Um, and then we're going to have to do something a little bit different. Um, uh, starting account actually starts with that special SSR summon where you get one of the starter SSRs for five stones which means we actually have to be able to simulate scrolling down um, to the someone we want to use. So this is very similar to a mouse click, but we're going to actually need two different points um, 
of where we're going to do it. So this is it, this is a mouse click drag. Uh, it has the same um, it has the same setup as a mouse click, except it's going to have a second pair of coordinates for you to finish at. So again, we're we're clicking with the left mouse here, so we want to simulate a left. Use the Finder tool to find something um, on the lower part of the screen and then on the higher part. Uh, make sure you don't put it on like a button because it will accidentally click it. So first pair of coordinates go in um, for the lower part. Use the Finder tool to find a spot up higher. Put in the second set of coordinates. And then again, I, I leave myself little notes. It makes it easier if I have to actually go in and make changes um, to quickly find out where it is. Uh, usually it's between different summoning events that you might have to make changes to this. Uh, so if there was another one where we needed to do, you could just do another click down drag and get to the lower one. So again, we're going to work our way through. Um, we're just going to do single summons. Same thing here. We have to simulate another drag, but this time it's the opposite. So before we did a drag where we start low and we go high, this time we need to actually pull down. So you're going to want to use the finder tool to find a higher point, put that in the first two set of coordinates, and then you're going to want to pick one down lower to do the next set of coordinates. Um, and then once this is done, uh, we'll, we'll need a single click to just get off of the character screen uh, to, you know, when you pull a character to get off of that. And then we're going to do something similar like we did with the gifts and do a for loop to actually do the rest of the rolls. So then that way, again, if the number of stones changes, the, the first pull will be handled by this and then the next set of pulls will be handled by the for loop. So I believe we're starting with 39, so we should have, I think, 34 stones left. Um, you can see me here fumbling around figuring out what to do. Yep, 34 stones left. So we're going to want to do um, another for loop and we're going to do it six times because we can do six more pulls. So again, we're just going to we're going to start at one and we're going to go to six. Um, luckily, all we really need to do is we need to grab that position of the single summon. And after that, we can actually copy what we did before because once that happens, it's the same screen, so we can we can copy um, the 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 click for the actual summon button as well as doing the pull and clicking um, off of the character, so we can get back to uh, the summon results screen. So, real quick, we just need to use the finder tool to figure out where we're going to do the single summon change out the coordinates so that the, the mouse is actually doing this in the right position. And then we're just going to copy what we had before. So summon button is the same spot where it was when we did it through the other way. So copy from that all the way through clicking through the character. And then this will make it do it six times. If we end up getting more stones and you can do it seven, you just change it to seven. So just going to speed through this, just simulating what it would actually do. At the at the end of this, I'll actually show it doing two consecutive rerolls. Um, the next thing we have coming up is we need to actually capture off the, the data so that you can go through and actually see the different rolls that you had. Uh, so you're going to want to click on the team, click on the character list, and then at this point, we want to actually capture the screen. So you should have a folder set up where you want to actually store this this information off. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we need to create a, a very large random number so that the file names are unique. Um, with this large of a number, it'd be fairly, like, I'd, I'd, it'd be improbable that you would actually roll the same number more than once. So that way, you know, as long as you, you check on this every couple of days even, and clear it out, there'll be no issue. So we're going to create a new variable called file name. We're going to do a random number between one and I don't remember how many nines that I put in there. And then we need to actually capture the screen. So there, the library that we included above has the ability to capture the screen. It's just called underscore screen capture underscore capture. 
um, you first give it where you want to save it. So I have a secondary hard drive called M, and I created on a folder there called Roles. We then want to add in the file name. So here I, I use the variable file name one. Um, that's because you could actually set this up to do multiple different ones. You would just need to do the click in a different position for every single roller you have going. And then we're just going to append to the file name character, and then it, we're gonna, it's going to be a JPEG file. So this way, when you look at the folder, you will have a characters, which is going to be the, the, the characters for that, as well as a transfers. Um, for this, we just need two sets of coordinates to tell it where to capture the screen. So you need the upper left hand corner. So just use the finder tool and go over there, put that in, and then the lower right hand corner. So essentially it is going to capture everything on our screen uh, and this make a, 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 a rectangle basically and save that off. So it's that's fairly simple. Um, we now have the ability to save off the different characters. And again, for this one, you don't necessarily need a sleep because it's instantaneous. So now you're going to want to go to menu. We're going to go to device transfer, um, create a transfer code, and then you know click OK on that. And then this is going to give us your transfer code. We can just copy off the same screen capture we did above because the coordinates should be the same. The only thing we need to change is instead of calling it characters, we're going to call it transfers. So this way you get two pictures for every single role and then you can link them together by the, the random number that's created to be able to say, you know, to determine what transfer code matches with that. And then the last thing we need to do is we just need to uh, click the home button so that we get back to the beginning um, beginning screen. And then that way uh, we're done. And it will go back to the top of the while loop and it will run through it again. And it will keep going until you hit uh, shift S and that will stop it and then you can you know go through and check all your different things so at this point I went I saved it off and then I went through and I personally figured out like how long each click should roughly take it's not perfect um, so here's the folder where I'm storing off the rolls uh, you go into auto it and there should be a run script options and we're just gonna run this so I'm gonna speed this up um, as you can see over on the right, I'm not sleeping for like 20 seconds. So this is just, I'm not actually clicking or anything at this point. This is 100% being driven um, by the, the little script that we just created. So it's going to go through and it's going to do all the different pulls. Um, if you notice, I don't, I personally don't take the time to go in to the missions and like create a transfer code, go to missions and, and save that stone because I feel it's a lot of wasted effort by no means does that mean you don't have to you just need to like after you accept gifts or maybe actually before you accept gifts you know go create a transfer code go to missions select them and there and then you can have it um, I do actually end up doing two back-to-back -back accounts that have SSRs uh, if you're lucky enough to take the account by all means have it uh, I personally have not used them so whoever ends up seeing this first can take it um, and then, yeah, I'm just showing that it, it goes through again and does it all over again. Um, so this is how I used to do my rerolls. As some of you know, I do collect a lot of reroll stats, and I actually have, um, thank to, thanks to Renzi, um, a way to make calls directly to the server. So I completely skip this and basically wrote a script that does all this stuff, but I don't have to watch all the animations and stuff. It just happens for me. Um, probably don't have plans to release that as I, I didn't come up with the method. I just use it to collect the stats. Um, so, and then at this point, I'm just going to show here are the different. So, you know, here's the first screen we took. Here's the code that went with it, second account, and the code that went with that.